another day, another Costco. But look, Cowan Classic Cut, uh, $86. And also, mm, both very good prices. Well, that's good as well. No, um, no blantons or barrel proof or anything there. Hi, I'm Phil. Adiba. And you're back in our blind tasting world where we're going through about a hundred bottles, trying to get through them all blind tasting. I say trying to get through them, the problem is we keep buying new ones. And so every time we add a new one, it means there's more to get through. This one is Penderin, a Welsh whiskey, which I presume is pretty young. Uh, it's very clear, there's no color or filtering, and it's been aged in a uh, X barrel, X Isla barrel, I guess, because it's peated barrel, but not peated whiskey. But we've decided to add bottles to the blind tasting in order of uh, getting more and more expensive because we have a few expensive ones like Springbank 21 but we don't want to blind taste them until we've built up a bit more knowledge so every time we buy a bottle that's cheaper than that it delays us ever getting to them so we have to stop buying whiskey. <laughs> that's quite difficult. All right so what are we doing? Every episode, what episode are we on? Maybe ten. Nine. Ten, I think. <laughs> we have three bottles and we blind taste them and try and work out which one is the best one. Bottle number eight has been holding everyone off for a few weeks, but bottle 11 has as well. Is that 11? And 13 is our newcomer. Um, what do we think of 13? 13. I can tell you now, it's, it's smoky. <laughs> In fact, if you smell the empty glass, it's been empty for a few minutes. That's like Beat. dry, burnt, ashy wood, isn't it? There's no doubt that is a peated whiskey. Well, there's always doubt because we're idiots sometimes. But that smells like something straight from Isla to me. What do you think? It could be, but definitely be, but it could be any bit else. No, but it's it has the classic uh, sort of plaster scene band-aid kind of note to it as well. Now I don't get any fruit in this one but what in the in the glass with whiskey. Get, uh, a banana, nectarine, very light. Yeah it's kind of a bit melony as well isn't it? It's sort of lighter fruit. It smells quite sweet though I'm surprised. But a bit of dusty cereal as well. I see beet. Very dry. Mm. It's quite it's quite drying, isn't it? I can't I can't get the fruit flavour though from what I got from the nose. Like it smells sweeter than it tastes. Yes. In fact, I would say it tastes slightly cardboardy. I'm getting a uh, of peppery finish. Mm. Yeah, okay, sort of fine pepper. I mean, it's nice. It's a nice, dry, peppery, ashy. But I expected it to be more sweet. Good, though. And we haven't had uh, a good smoky whiskey for quite a while. Okay, we give a name to it. Mm. That's right, we've got to come up with a name because this one we've called uh, Tea and Burnt Sticks. <laughs> <laughs> and this one was uh, Sweet Farmyard. So this one we've come up with burnt fruit tree because it's like there was a hint of fruit there but it's just been burnt it's like the ashes of a few fruit tree so burnt fruit tree tea and burnt sticks okay let's talk about tea and burnt sticks for a minute oh that's funny that actually has a little sulfury note of matchsticks in there now but uh it's it's so completely different this one is kind of rich dark Earthy, muddy almost. The grassy fish. 
Gross Gorenda seed. Yeah, it is a bit grassy. Slightly smoky though. You know, we've gone back and forth on this. It's like, is it peated smoke or is it just earthiness? I think today I'm I'm picking up a little bit burnt matchstick, so I'm gonna go with lightly peated, but it's more the earthiness that comes with the peat smoke than the smoke itself, if that makes sense. And it's a bit oily waxy as well. Mm, I'm getting a uh, sultanas. Mm. Sultana. <laughs> Did you taste it? Mm. It's kind of oily. I've said it's smooth before, but it stands out as being that kind of texture compared to others. It's got a little bit of pepper heat to it. That's very nice as well, and a bit more complex. And I haven't tasted anything like that before. Uh, it's not that sweet. No, neither of these are sweet. Oh wait, we've actually, we're pretty familiar with at this point. Sea breeze. Sea breeze, you mean it's salty? Mm, it tastes a bit bitter now. Slightly, mm. let's see. A bit nectarine as well here. Melon. Melon, herbal smoke a little bit. Although I'm not getting it as much now after coming off that one. It's got a little bit of the earthiness about it as well. A touch of this, but maybe a tiny bit on the orange side. Slight sulfur honey on the finish. That's probably right. All right, you know what it needs? It's time for voting. So based on what you just tasted, it's where are you? Are because they all are good. Yeah, they are all good. None of them are sweet. This is probably borderline sweet. Let's go for the middle one first. <laughs> one, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> okay. Deeper's going a bit faster today. I think that's still true. Okay, I'm pretty clear. Deeper <laughs> first. <laughs> so, the new one is good, but it's not as interesting. But we're not going to reveal it because 08 the champion <laughs> has reached its uh, retirement age. Five week. I think four or five episodes now. So we have to reveal 08. I'm looking forward to it because it's for good. So now we have to guess what it is. We did think about, maybe we should look at the spreadsheet of all the bottles and you can see it in the description. And so that would give us a way to, you know, to go and pick out a bottle and get this as a better guess. But we thought it's not quite as much fun as us just trying to guess off what we're tasting. So ABV, what do you think it is? Wow, ah, it smells good. ABV, we know it's under 48. What do you think it is? I think it's 46. 45. 45. Yeah, it's at the higher end. It's like it's not 40. In fact, you don't really get 40 ABV in America. 43 is the lowest. Age, do you think that's old? I think, yeah. Uh, eight years. Eight years. I'm going to go for 18. I think it's got more... Well, I'm hoping it's 18. Well, am I hoping? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's got more sophistication that comes with age. Also, I'm a bit shy of saying young now after last time when I got it completely wrong. Hmm. Am I thinking of a bottle when I said that? Maybe. Price. 55. 65 for deeper. I'm going for 130 <laughs> based on I've got a bottle in my head now. Do you actually like it? I like it. How much do you like it? 
but after that, I always think of Well, we did call it Sweet Farmyard because we were sort of thinking it has a bit of Brooklady about it. Let's see what the Isle of Barley tastes like in comparison. It's got a bit of water added. Well, <laughs> that that is totally farmyard. This has only got a tiny bit That's of this in. It's the bar. All right, scores. Do you think it's better or? That is better. Okay. I for you. I'm going 92. 91. I don't think you gave that 91, did you? No, you didn't. I thought you gave that more score. Too late for that one. But it's good for 91. 91. That's a pretty high score for Deepa. Region. I'm going for Ireland. So it, do you think it's Scottish? Yes, it is Scottish. Yeah. But blend, I think it's Oh, blend. you think it's a blend? Okay, yeah. you're going to put blend? Okay, but blend. So it, you don't think it's from Campbelltown then? No. <laughs> a blend. Do you have any guesses as a, at a bottle then? Uh, a bottle of the banana, I think that is so different. It's different, but of course. Yeah. Yeah, we come back spark. Okay, you might think it might be a compass. I think most of our compass boxes are more pe. Well, I don't actually know. <laughs> My guesses have sort of been around the idea of could it be Highland Park 18? Oh no. And I may as well just go with it. <sighs> I'm quite looking forward to finding out about this. Wow. What if we don't have the bottle? I don't think it can be Highland Park Valkyrie. ABV, here we go. Oh, 43. So that makes Deepa more right, but... It's soft. This is the big one though, age. Is it eight or 18? Oh. <laughs> it is neither. It is 15. So it can't be Highland Park 18. And it can't be Compass Box. What 15s do we have? Okay, go ahead. Glengoyne mm, yeah, that, that can't be Glengoyne, can it? It is $49. The sheep. $49 at 43 ABV means it only has to score an 86. And we both have put it right up there in the 90s. Bah. Well, you think it's a blend? No, it can't be if it's 15. Oh, don't we have... Um, Glen Scotia, that's 15, isn't it? Region is a blend. It's a blend. That's blend. It's a blend from where? Oh, okay. <laughs> Close your eyes. I'm going to hand you the bottle and see if you know what it is from the bottle. Sonny Bocca. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Johnny Walker, green label, 15 year. Well, I guess I'm pleased with that because it's another one that has scored wow. really well. And it's a blend which includes Talisker, Colila, Linkwood, and Crag and Moor. Well, it does represent good value. It is, you can see that at that price, an ABV, it is before below the average line for a 15 year old. People did, did say that um, of the Johnny Walkers, the 15 was one of the better ones. And of course it doesn't have any grain in it. It's a blended malt. It's only got malt whiskey in. Peat smoke, pepper, vanilla, sweet fruits, Garden fruit, cedar, sandalwood, big multi heart. I don't think we're too far off. Honeyed finish. Hmm. Well, um, 
I don't feel stupid. <laughs> I don't feel overexcited or stupid this week. How do you feel about it? I, I feel proud that I thought it was a print. Mmm. And it's... Yeah. It is good. Oh, but how good? But not as good as this. <laughs> I can see why people would think that's smoky though if they're not used to a smoky whiskey. But uh, it's supposed to be every beady, but it's not. I think for a for a mainstream blend that is quite quite peaty. But it's not that every beady. No. As advertised at the butter. True. It's not heavily peated the way that one is. Yeah. But if people aren't used to smoke. I would see uh, why they would say, oh, I don't like smoky whiskies. They, they would include that. But for, for me, that was a really nice mix of flavors. So what did we learn from this bottle? Because I was thinking, I really learned quite a bit from this one that old things, what old things taste like. This isn't your typical blend because it doesn't have grain in. Have you learned anything from this one? That blend can be good as well. Yeah. A good blend can be good. And remember, this is only being revealed now because we've run out. Because it it has beaten off Bullet, the 21 year a thrusk, lies more. I think it might have beaten Glenlivet. I can't quite remember that far back now. So where is Johnny going? I believe I gave Kleinlish a 92 and I might have given this 91 or 90 because I know I, I gave Kleinlish more but um, between us we gave this the highest score so between us we have put Johnny Walker no. here I, I bought this first <laughs> <laughs> okay just, to, is... just drink it Oh, it's pretty good. It's so good. I think there's a bit of brand bias happening now, now that we know what it is. But, oh, oh, okay, that's the last one to fit on the shelf. I want to readjust the shelf slightly because we're going from best to worst. Mm -hmm. And I noticed we've made a mistake here because we have Ardmore better than Ben Rieck. And also, Abelauer has had better days than Ardmore. So it should really be like this. And then Bullet. No, when we tasted them side by side, we actually had Ben Rieck ahead of Bullet. So we should actually be this way around. And I guess, uh, Starting to fill up. Next week, next episode, something is going to have to get pushed off. Well, of course, maybe it'll be down there. We need a new bottle. Number 14. It is a 48 minus. So again, no cask strength on bottle number 14. Let's see what we're going to get. going to be going in this slot. Ooh. I, I was like, that smells like something we've we've had recently. Nothing nothing immediately jumping out. Oh that's different. Wow, there's something going on in that flavor I've never had before.